Welcome to the Two Brew Review. This week we are checking out Abbey Double. This is from Flying Fish Brewing Company out of Somerdale. It's in New Jersey, but uh, it's actually outside of the uh, Philadelphia area. So uh, we are uh, coming into uh, Thanksgiving, which actually for me kicks off the unofficial start of eating season. Uh, so many of us will be sitting down and indulging and uh, sometimes overindulging on a wide variety of different foods. You'll have foods that are, you know, savory or creamy, rich, sweet, tart. A lot of times you have all of these foods basically on the same plate. So uh, if you're going to enjoy a beverage that, that can help um, accentuate a meal with a wide range of flavor profiles. I've always felt that beers of this style, and this is what is in the the, the Belgian monastic ale style, uh, tend to pair very well with uh, Thanksgiving and other holiday meals where you've got this uh, this wide array of flavors going on. And the monastic ales are the Belgian single, double, triple, and quadruple. As you kind of move your way up um, uh, the number scale, the beers get uh, stronger in uh, flavors and alcoholic strength, but I'm a fan of the double. I think it adds um, enough uh, richness and sweetness and a little bit of heft uh, without overpowering the beer or overpowering the food or conversely have the food overpower the beer. I, and it, because it's got a lot of um, multi sweetness and also a little bit of uh, herbaceousness with the hops and the yeast uh, that it helps complement a wide variety of flavors. Uh, so we're going to go with this guy. Now, normally uh, uh, these monastic ales, they come from Belgian monasteries, hence the name monastic. However, this is brewed here in the United States, as I previously mentioned, outside of Philadelphia. And this is an Abbey Ale. So Abbey Ales follow the, the same recipes and uh, brewing ops as the monastic ales do over in Belgium and other places throughout the world, but obviously they're not brewed within the walls of a monastery, so they cannot be called monastic or Trappist ales. So we'll put that in the category of more information that, than you care to know. Just open the damn beer, Steve. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out. Um, here we go, 12 ounce bottle. Oh, I forgot to kind of preview the bottle. 7.2% uh, ABV, so again, it's got a little bit of half to it, but not overpowering. Uh, it's got a Lighthouse uh, Independent Craft Brewer logo, and um, that's about it for the for the for the label. And there's that beautiful, rich, uh, kind of a deep reddish copper pour, which is uh, very common. Belgian doubles uh, again; they're they're somewhat malt forward, so you're going to get that nice, beautiful looking color. Uh, head, I poured it a little bit light, but it's got a you know a, a a nice kind of uh, you know brownish uh, head that retains fairly well, and you get a little bit of lacing. Oh yeah, so um, getting some nice uh, like fruitiness out of it, like uh, like cherry notes, and a little bit of that that musty in a good way, but that kind of musty um, uh, aged hop aromatic that's that's very um, familiar with this style. Maybe a tad of licorice too in there, but definitely the the cherry notes and the yeasty notes are there. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, sweet, malty, that cherry flavor comes in again, getting that again, that fruity cherry, maybe a little bit of apple character in there as well. Mm. So it's more malt forward. Uh, it's got a little bit of a kind of a peppery, maybe even like a little coriander bite in the finish, maybe a little bit of chocolate in there too. Um, but again, that's why I think this beer pairs so well with a wide variety of foods because you got a lot of little nuanced flavors uh, going on in a, in a beer style like this without anything being too overpowering. Although I will say, this one, although it has great malty and I really like kind of the apple fruity character of it, I think it can maybe use a little bit more of that that uh, herbaceousness, the, the hop and the yeast spice um, and some of those esters to help maybe cut through some of the sweet profile a little bit. Um, when I have Trappist ales from Belgium, I do get a little bit more of that yeast component, mainly because those are bottle conditioned and this uh, is not bottle conditioned. So not getting quite as much of that spiciness, but still, uh, this is a wonderfully done beer um, and I'm kind of a sucker for this style. Um, it's definitely in my, um, uh, my Mount Rushmore of favorite, uh, favorite beer styles. 
So uh, if you get a chance, go check out either if it's imported from Belgium or if it's made here in the United States. Uh, put a, a, a Belgian double on your uh, Thanksgiving table. You won't regret it. I hope everybody has a safe and happy Thanksgiving holiday and happy eating season. Cheers.